Well, it's getting time with the snow outside. Everybody's starting, I think, to do their Christmas shopping, start decorating, that sort of thing. Well, I uh, normally do a big, big spring clean of the entire house. And today I'm going to show you a video of uh, what I've been working on in my own house before decorating. Obviously, we do the kitchen and the obvious things. We always do the countertops. We normally clean the inside of the fridge and maybe the freezer. We wipe down the cabinets. You know, we clean the inside of the stove and the microwave and, you know, that sort of thing, right? That's not what this video is about today. I'm going to uh, give you some tips and tricks that... Uh, I do uh, personally within my own home um, and things that I think people may not realize that they should do at least once a year. I've been working on this all weekend so it, it's a big job if you you know leave it. We had a very busy year and I normally do it twice a year. The bigger stuff and didn't get around to it earlier so I'm gonna just show you this is my kitchen and um, what I always do because well I have like a you know the walk through one so there I do one side and then I do the other side so this year I started on this side so I have some items of things that you know people may not think of the very first thing I did was the ceiling fan and oh my goodness, because I normally have it going all the time just to circulate air. Um, it was greasy and grimy and then dust, of course, sticks to that. So that that's a, a big one. Um, so I did that. I started there. Next thing I did is I, you know, took down the, the curtain and I washed the big window, the trim and you know don't forget to of course do the inside track because you know well with my sink my sink is here so stuff gets splatted on the window um and obviously i have my my food waste the compost bin here so when you dump stuff in and whatnot stuff gets in this little track and uh, on the, your ledge or whatever so I always, you know, do that. Um, well, more than once a year, but anyway, that's one of the things that I think people forget about. Uh, another one is your your knife um, block. Take all the knives out because dust and and grime gets all stuck in here. Not just the the top and the sides and front, but in there. Take all the knives out and wipe wipe all that. Okay, so that's another one. Uh, moving along. Um, sinks. Holy cow. This is a big one, okay? Uh, these kind of taps that have, you know, these handles, which a lot of people have nowadays. In your crease, I don't know if you can see this. Here, let me run it. Around here gets stuck with all this grime and because you're cooking you're cleaning this that and you're touching it stuff gets and then just sits down there so that's a, that's a big one I think people forget about the other thing is the watermarks I have granite um, so we and I live in Georgetown we have hard water so the water that drips down in here gets like a a cloudy you know yuckiness and watermarks tend to get all in in here so what I use for that I just spray the heck out of it I always keep vinegar right uh, beside or in front of the sink so I always spray the heck out of it let it sit for a minute especially in here and um, just let that soak for a minute and it'll wipe right off. Um, the other thing for the undermount sinks is these little ledges here around. 
right? They get yucky, right? So don't forget that. And see here I have some rust marks. One quick way to do that, Comet. Comet will get that right out. And don't forget your, your plugs. Well, you can see I didn't do the bottom of this one, right? Which I have to do. So they get grimy and gooey and yucky. And also in here and all around here, you get coffee stains around, that sort of thing. Comet takes it off, no problem. Okay, so those are the, the sink tips that uh, I have. Moving along, it's a good time to clean your, your, uh, your kettle and your coffee maker. Um, I just run vinegar th through it. The, the tea kettle, I, uh, I put vinegar, turn it on, well, vinegar and water. I usually put, well, actually about that much vinegar, and then I fill the rest uh, with water, boil it, cleans it out perfect, drain it, and um, rinse it out. Do one with, uh, with just water. And, you know, it's a good time to change your, your water filter and, and, and that sort of thing for your coffee maker. Do the process. You know, it'll keep it longer, right? Um, moving along, your cabinets. Okay, so your cabinets, we always, you know, wipe them down, right? No problem. But what people do tend to forget is to do the insides of the doors because when people open the door you know and you're cooking especially right here by the handles it gets pretty grimy so that's a good one as well so there's that and moving along your dishwasher okay so we always do the fronts of the dishwashers right and my profession I always do of course down the sides right no biggie but what people don't do regularly is in here down in all the way down around basically your seal right that's very important because when you have this seal right if it's full of grime you're gonna start to get leaks and 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 whatnot and it's just gross it makes your your dishwasher smell right so that's a good one too and what else we have your kick plates my kick plates were gross when I was on the floor and doing all the cabinets and that I'm like ew so when you have spills and this and that especially but on the sink side um, you'll have spills and drips and whatever people tend to not think of your kick plate which runs all the way along the bottom so anything you drop or spill splashes up and gets all gungy and if you have pets um, like I do then the pet hair sticks to it it's really gross now when you're standing up of course you can't see that but if you have toddlers or babies you know do you want them on the floor and you know touching that it's it's gross it needs to be done okay moving along <coughs> on this side of the kitchen is your fridge so of course the most obvious thing is wipe down the exterior right take everything off I don't normally have uh, um, magnets and um, papers and kids stuff I don't I'm older than that my kids don't bring home that stuff anymore <laughs> but anyway so it's a good time to take it all off all the magnets give it a one good wash um, there's that also, don't forget the top of the fridge. That's a biggie. The next thing is the inside. So, well, as you can see, look at the barren. So what I did is I took out all the, um, the shelves, the, the drawers, everything. I removed everything so it was just an empty shell. And I also removed 
Well, with my fridge, these things just pop out, so that was easy. It is a perfect time. This fridge, this door was full of stuff, and I removed it all, and as I was putting them back, I was checking expiry dates, and as you can see, there was quite a bit that uh, is now gone, right? And same thing, well, same thing here, right? And then the freezer also. Um, so I did do the, I did do the freezer, um, as you can see here, sorta. And then kind of took an inventory of that stuff as well. And, um, you know, got rid of stuff that was bad and whatever. You don't want to be entertaining. Go, oh, I need those uh, pickles or the, the whatever. And you check it and it's expired. You don't want that. And then somebody has to run to the store and blah, blah, blah. That goes for your cheeses, your butters, your milk, your blah, 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 everything, okay? And lastly for the fridge is your seals. These get really gross here and, of course, here. And if they are dirty, that seal won't, uh, won't stick real good like it does, but you're wasting energy. So that's an important one there. Okay, uh, I think that's it for that side. Now, this side. Okay, so in my kitchen, I got the toaster. Okay, toaster. Here's the important thing about toasters. We toast stuff, yada yada, the crumbs go all down, right? Everybody does know, but I don't think everybody does it. I'm just going to turn it over. There's a, a little door here that catches all the crumbs. So put it over the garbage can, open that door, empty it all out. Give it a good shake, shake, shake. And uh, because it is, it's a fire hazard, truth be known. So that's a good one to, uh, to also do, um, is your toaster. Um, your microwave. Uh, is it, of course, a good one. We all do that, right? You take out this stuff, you give it a good wash. If it's really bad, a good trick is you just put um, a bowl of um, water, lemon water preferably, but water will do, and just steam it, and it will loosen all the stuff that is just really stuck, stuck on there. So there's that. And if you have one of these uh, uh, over the stove ones, um, you also have a vent that goes up. Well, on top, I don't know if I can show you. Let's see. On top here of it gets full of dust and like grease, cooking grease, and it's just stuck. Okay, so that's a good one to, to wipe every now and then. Not necessarily, but at least once a year. Um, stoves, the obvious things are we do the stove top. I think everybody knows how to do the, those. And, uh, you know, take your knobs off, give them a good soak and wash. Do the backs. Okay, now this is the, why I'm mentioning this. One thing that has always eluded me was, you know, well, my particular oven is a self-clean. It has uh, actually two options. The normal self-clean where, you know, jacks up the heat and uh, until it, uh, you know, just goes into ash. But this one also has, where is it? Oh, here it is. A steam clean so you don't want to do the precise clean which is the one I just said you may want to do this one which I love that about this particular uh, stove is you just put a bit of water in the bottom of the the oven and uh, it just loosens up anything that's kind of a thing you would do more regularly than the other but the one thing that's always eluded me 
is between the glass between the doors. So there's two. I'll open this one. So you clean this, even if you have a self clean. You clean this side of the glass, you clean the outside, but then there's still these drips and, and stuff in between. Well, how do you get that? Well, I had on this one, I had a, uh, a drip on this one. I had a couple of drips and then I did the, the big clean on the top one here yesterday and it was like an, all over the place. I'll post a picture of that um, with the video. So I did that, and then I'm like, oh man, now it looks worse. So I just learned, very easy, and I this is the point of the whole video, is I learned this new, new trick. You can actually separate this piece from your outside piece. On this particular oven, all I had to do was remove this uh, this bolt and this bolt, and it'll this will kind of pop up a little bit, and the bottom will stay, and you can now wipe in between those two. My favorite thing this year that I've learned. Love it, love it, love it. And as you can see, I still got more to do, but anyway. That was my favorite thing. And I'll post a picture of what that looks like separated because I did take a picture of that. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, kick plates. Oh, sinks, tabs, walls, baseball, walls and baseboard. And the kitchen is always so messy. In my kitchen, for some reason, this wall always gets splatted with stuff so I did a top to bottom side to side and the baseboards wash instead of painting just wash just wash the wall um, anyway and one one more thing if you have granite countertops okay um, you're supposed to treat them once a year you can go to Canadian. To, I don't have the treatment with me. I still have yet to do that. Um, and all it is, it's a spray. And they just basically, it's like buffing your car, putting a wax on your car. It's the same, same thing. So you spray it on around and you just kind of, you buff it in. Uh, there's instructions on, on, uh, on it. No problem. And uh, you do that and you'll keep your granite, the seal, uh, a lot longer. And that's, those are my tricks and tips for getting your kitchen holiday ready for company. All right, that's everything. Good luck everyone. When you're done that, then it's decorating. So here's the kitchen episode. All right? Okay. Good luck. Cheers.